Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? This is EJ Uno guys coming back with another great video guys. I haven't um, been posting in a while because I'm in the mix of trying to make big things happen. So, why that being said guys, this is a new video. And if you haven't read the thumbnail, let me um, talk about it right here and tell you what it's all going to be about. Knockoff. KO. Um, I really wanted to make this video because I was first, I was thinking of like new uh, videos that I want to make, which I got new videos coming out. So stay tuned for those videos. Uh, another thing, um, and I just, I was, I put a, I was selling my, some of my figurines and rearranging some stuff that I had going on that I wanted to do. I didn't want to be like a, um, a completist of just collecting things. And then because I feel like when I start whether I was collecting like G.I. Joe or collecting like, you know, Ninja Turtles, something like that. I started collecting so much like I was doing with my other figurines. And I had like kind of like a, be real, like an OCD type of thing where I was like, okay, I'm just going to collect a whole lot of these figurines. And then in the line, I know, um, you know, from like the beginning of the line, the middle of the line, but like getting toward the end. It was some stuff that I, some characters I really didn't know. The only thing I was looking at was the TMNT line. But anyway, that's not what this is about. I'll get more into that when that video comes about. But, uh, so I ended up doing that. On that being said, I put, um, a Ninja, the Ninja Turtles that I, um, got a long time ago from when I very first started, uh, collecting Ninja Turtles. And I got them from GameStop when Ninja Turtles were only available exclusively at GameStop. Now, it was one out of the, the bunch, Michelangelo, that I got from uh, AliExpress. Okay, so on that being said, I, um, I end up wanting to sell them. Then uh, I put it on Facebook because I never did a Facebook market. So if you want to see, check out some of some figurines I got, uh, put them on Facebook market. But anyway, that's a little, you know little um, link there that I wanted to put out there for everybody. So anyway, um, I put it out there. I, I didn't like, like, you know what I'm saying? Think too much of it. So a jerk, a little asshole was like, automatic. this is like three o'clock in the morning. He's like, that's a knockoff. Nigga, I didn't say it was real or it was a knockoff. All I said was I'm trying to sell them and I think I said for eighty dollars or something like that, ninety dollars or something like that. That's all I said. I wasn't putting, in, I wasn't putting that. I literally wanted to like, which call it to like, um, to like say that they're real or not real. I mean, I didn't even put nothing in there. All I just wanted to do was sell it. Then you know what I'm saying. And one thing I want to say about these community, while I'm on the verge of saying knockoff, you guys, we have to understand we are grown men and women. You know what I'm saying. Why? Just because, I mean, well, not why. Just because we collect figurines don't mean we have to act immature like like little kids, like we're in school and everybody got their set of uh, groups. You know what I'm saying? I know that Facebook has the groups, but be grown about it. Because, you know, I'll put my videos out and I'll, and I'll just like splurge them across like the whole damn Facebook and put like G.I. Joe and it might be some of my Ninja Turtles. But, you know what I'm saying? But then some people be like, read the room it's uh it, it's only about ninja turtles okay get off the gas pedal okay i don't give a fuck if it's about ninja turtles and i'm putting gi joe i really don't care they're figurines like seriously like they're toys like they're like i love collecting them but i am not like if i saw somebody put in gi joe's in in a group that had power rangers i'm not going to give a damn like i'm really not because it's it's literally you know it's you know you you make it turn you make it turn on to that type of figurine. You may like that, oh man, that looks pretty cool. Maybe you might not know about it. Maybe you might not know what's out there. You know what I'm saying? It's called advertising. You know what I'm saying? It don't say that in the group that you can't advertise your own figurines that you have. It don't have, you know, it just, you know what I'm saying? Like, understand, we are grown people. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's like, literally, I feel like when I be seeing these groups on like Facebook or whatever, I don't care who gets mad or whatever, nothing like that. I feel like uh, some people, I wouldn't say everybody, but I feel like a lot of people like literally take it too serious, take it to the, the limit, push the pedal and just go right, right for it. Because 
it's like they take things so serious. Like they really do. Like I mean, it's just I I just it's just like I think about like man, like is it really this serious? Like is it really this serious to collect figurines and then you you post something or you talk about something or you, or you want to sell something or you want to trade? Like I don't ever remember being and since we're gonna act like little kids. I don't ever remember being a kid and being mad and being like, you know what? That card doesn't seem real. You remember when we used to have like the the X Men cards, or we used to trade like some figurines that the other kid didn't have because um, we either couldn't afford that figurine, or our parents couldn't. Our parent, well, our parents couldn't get us that figurine, or we couldn't find it, or we 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 weren't able to go to the store to get that figurine or that card, and the other kid had it at school and he did, and he he really was growing bored of it, and I had something that he wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like. Why can't it just be like that without having to put, like, you know, the 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 crucial thing of, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? This this isn't real. Who gives a fuck if it ain't real? None of these figurines are real. They're not walking around. They are not. <laughs> I mean, and it's like, they're not real. They're knockoffs. Okay, so, okay, if it's a knockoff or it's real, I could care. A, I could give a, a shit. You know, I give a, a flying shit. Like, seriously, like, the only thing I care about is when I buy them, I don't want to buy them at full price. I, I, at, at full price of, like, what somebody else is selling them. I don't want to see something in the store that I missed out on a month ago for twenty dollars, and then I see it on eBay or I see it on Facebook or I see it on Instagram. I see it like this, and somebody got to boost it up to like a hundred and twenty dollars when they only pay twenty dollars about twenty dollars, and then they and then they don't want to like you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, oh, you know, let off the gas and be like, no, nah, well, uh, this is rare. You can't find this nowhere. Like I don't, I don't want to go through that. So I, I could care less if I find it on AliExpress. I could care less if I, if I find it at Target. As long as it's in the price range of what I want, I could, I could give, a, I could give a shit. Like I mean, like seriously. Like in speaking of that, you know, I was looking at some of the figurines and some of the stuff I had, and people say knockoff because they say, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it come from AliExpress. It come from Timu, or you know what I'm saying, or something like that. And uh, I, they're trying to they're trying to sit there and say, oh, because it came from China. I, I know what people, you know what I'm saying. I know what people would be trying to say, like, oh, well, it came from China, but it, you know, it's it's not real. Well, you know what I'm saying. This, uh, let me see. Let, let, let me put this out here. Oh, okay, pick the right one. Okay, so this is Super Seven from, uh, and this came from Super Seven from, um, you know, it's the Power Ranger. You know what I'm saying? I think what is this? the the Dragon Zord. So if you guys can pause it right there, and I don't know if you can read right there, uh, most of the shit that we have in United States um, come from China. You know what I'm saying? So this this really wanted to put it put it out there. So that's Super Seven. Let me see another one I got right here. Let me see if this says it on here. Like 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 it's hard to find. Um, oh okay. So what does that say? That says China. You know what I'm saying? It's it, in no matter what we have. The, the phone that you're looking at is from China. The clothes we wear are from China. Europe, Asia, Taiwan, wherever you want to call it. It ain't from us from the United States. So let, let's just get that out the window. You know what I'm saying? So before you start talking about what's knockoff, what's not knockoff, you're basically saying because it came from China that it's that it's a knockoff. That I don't care how, how you wanna how you wanna split the table and be like, oh no, well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying because it's not um, it, because it's not what you call it. Like, what do people say? It, the like, it's. I don't know how you want to justify that it's a knockoff and it's not knockoff. I guess because the paint job isn't really done really good. But I got some. Like, I love Super Seven, but I and I and and you can't tell me. Let me see. You can't tell me. Like, I'm trying to grab a good one. I got them all in there. But like, take this for instance. This is nice, but I'm saying like. This is a window open. Now, Hasbro has had their G.I. Joes that didn't have the window open because they wanted to save on cost or whatever or recycling or wh whatever the BS that Hasbro wanted to do where they just did the art on the back of it so you can't see the figurine. And look at the trouble we got from that because you see it all over the place. You see that, and I have been a victim of what happened that I have got the figurine from Hasbro, from not Hasbro, from um, Amazon, and somebody has stuck, uh, like, little pieces of, like, a, uh, of, uh, accessories inside the box, and they ship that to me because you can't see the window of everything, and, you know what I'm saying? It's just, basically, what I'm getting to is, 
uh, you could find a shitty product, you know, in in um, anywhere. You really could. Like, it, it don't have to be just because it's just because you see Hasbro on there, just because you see Mattel on there, just because you see all that. It doesn't mean that the figurine is just like you know what I'm saying. Like, it's it's top notch, and I think we have all learned that. You know what I'm saying? We we have. Like, like I love storm storm collectible figurines. Their figurines ain't their, their figurines are nice. They're really nice. But everybody knows storm collectible is very very expensive products. But their figurines, or you know, what I'm saying they they don't sell them here in the United States. Now they they get distributed from China or Japan or or um, Asia over he, over to like a distributor and like comic book store or something like that, and then they sell it. But you don't see them in the store, but they smith as, as hell because they're really nice figurines. You know what I'm saying? And to tell you the truth, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You compare a Storm Collectible figurine of Mortal Kombat, let's say, for instance, to a uh, figurine that um, McFarlane Toys, he made Mortal Kombat. Now, McFarlane Toys, um, Tom McFarlane made same, some great um, um, Mortal Kombat figurines. But Storm Collectibles, which is China, made fantastic ones you know what i'm saying so same thing when it comes to street fighter storm collectibles versus um uh, what is it um uh, uh, what is it um dang it i forgot um jerry i forgot what is it i forgot you know the new street fighter toy that came out that they're nice but they're not better than storm collectibles you know what i'm saying it's and i had to learn that you know what i'm saying so th that's i really wanted to put a video out there i really wanted to go on a rant rave about this for everybody to literally stop Literally stop acting like kids and just who cares if the if the if if the thing is knockoff or real. I mean, really, tell you the truth. I mean, the only thing that you should be worried about is the money that you're spending. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of people, including myself, I, I saw myself at the top of of the chain that they get the figurines and then they sell them. Get the figurines and they sell them because you be thinking about what's new, how much money you spend, and everything, all that stuff. So. Like, literally, stop. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, this is EJ Uno. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll be back with more.